Hi guys, and welcome back to our FIFA 22 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So, in this episode, I did mention in the last one that I am considering doing a little bit more simulating or a few more quick sim games just to push this season forward because as of right now, we're currently 13 points ahead at the top of the table ahead of Ipswich, who are currently in second. So, you know, it's highly unlikely that we can fall away too much. So that's why I feel like I should throw in quite a few quick sim games just to maybe even itself out or, you know, it just gives it a bit more sort of uh, drama, potentially anyway. It, we could end up winning everything. You, know? you never know, you know, winning all the games. But this is the way this episode is going to begin and how it's going to go. I'm going to start off by playing the game away from home against Charlton. I'm going to quick sim both the crew and Lincoln games. I'm going to play the game against Rotherham. We are then going to quick sim the game against Gillingham and quick sim the game against Oxford before watching the game against Shrewsbury and then jumping in if we need to. That might be a little bit overkill in your eyes. It might just be. But I feel like, you know, like I say, we're flying. We may as well just fly through a bit of this now. And um, I can't obviously play all of them because if I did play all of them, it would be a three-hour episode, um, <laughs> and I don't have that kind of time. So I hope you're okay with that, guys. You know, if it was obviously a bit closer at the top of the league, then uh, I would, of course, just do the usual. But I feel like we may as well throw in a few quick sims here and there and uh, progress things a bit quicker. But there is a quick reminder of the league table. Charlton still right in it. They could easily jump into second as well. We're, of course, running away with it 13 points ahead, as I mentioned earlier. Rotherham, we're playing them later on. We're playing Lincoln as well, although we're having a quick sim that one. So it's a pretty big episode. We're pretty much playing three teams that are all in the top six, which is a pretty big one. So we could really just force ourselves and push ourselves even further away today. Charlton are going to be right at it in this one, you'd think, because with a win, and then of course if Ipswich lose, they could potentially go into second place. But this is the team I'm going to go with. We have Hoffman, Sirkin, Doyle, Flanagan, Huggins, 09, Neil, Diaku, Embo, Gooch, and Ross Stewart. Let's get into it. And here we are, away from home, taking on Charlton. Now the commentator has just said that it is the best attacking side against the best defensive side. So we've scored the most goals in the league. I believe it was something like 78 goals, which is absolutely ridiculous. And they've only conceded like 26, 27, which is a very, very good return in terms of um, defensive work for Charlton. It's absolutely written in the start to be nil-nil then, isn't it? But we'll see. Hopefully we can get the episode started with three points. Send Ross Stewart if we can get there first, he can. It is Ross Stewart, straight away. Ross Stewart is the Loch Ness Monster. It is the Loch Ness Drogba. And it is an absolute beauty. What a gorgeous finish that was. And what a lovely, lovely cup of tea that was by Ross Stewart. That was gorgeous. Like he's meant to wrangle his way in between the defender there. One touch and another and another. And he's buried it inch perfect into the top right. Get in, son. Gooch. Okay, one more time to Embo. Go on, son. Take him. Take him if you can. Embo, he's gone for goal and it's over the bar. It's good football, though, this. We're so direct with our running at the minute. I'm loving it. Something I am thinking of turning off, though, in our tactics is uh, the overlap for the full backs. Because that's something I've noticed. You know, at the back, sometimes they'll just keep popping balls over the top of diagonal balls. And our full backs are just nowhere to be seen because they're trying to work uh, an overlap even off the ball and when we, when we don't have it, which is very, very frustrating. But now this is when it does come off, when there's a nice little bit of link-up play like that. Gooch. Come on, Gooch, come on, Gooch, come on, Gooch. Spread the play, there's loads of space there for Diaku. Over the top, lovely play. Finish it, Daniel. What a goal that would have been. Lovely. Can we maybe get a little break on the go here? It is Ross Stewart, help him out. Try and send Embo. If we can get there first, yes, he can, it is. Elliot Embleton, is it the counter-attack of dreams? It is not. Right down the throat of the keeper. What a chance it was. And there goes half-time whistle. I think this performance has been absolutely brilliant. Cut out everything they've thrown at us. And going forward, we've looked really, really dangerous. Made plenty of chances. We could really do with a second, though. Good chance for them now. Oh, my God. Thank God he's offside. Neatly done there. Well played. Help him. It's Embo in the middle. Well played. Still Embo. Knock it on. Towards Stewart. Still Stewart. It's a tight angle. To save Pritchard, Winchester, and Gage are all going to come on for the final 25 minutes. Deaku now he holds onto the ball so well. The ball is great as well. Go on, Gage, help him. Tries to find Deaku. He strikes it. Oh, and he's hit the ball. And the amount of times Deaku has hit the woodwork, I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. What a goal that would have been. As Kirk pulls it back for Barker. Oh, shit. They've got, look at the space they've got in the middle here. What a save from the half. Come on, get into him, get into him, oh that's shoddy, over to him, over to him, well in and again and again and again, 
That'll do. Help him out. Get down the line. Anyone? What a ball that is for Ross Stewart. He's not the quickest. It's Ross Stewart. He cuts inside. Strikes it himself. It's an absolute beauty. Ross Stewart with a second. He got one in the first couple of minutes of the game. And he's got another in the last minute of the game as well. Get in. What a finish. What a strike. Jam Sarney, the manager, runs down to the corner flag. A little bit unnecessarily. But he celebrates with his team. Get in. Look at that. Big touch from him. He tries to dummy it inside. He does. Shifts it. Hits it. It's a class finish. Absolutely class finish. Get in, son. The Loch Ness Drogba, he is back and he's here to stay. And there goes a the full-time whistle. 2-0, an absolutely brilliant performance. Charlton made a couple of chances, but we were absolutely ridiculous going forward. We looked so, so good today and deservedly come away with a 2-0 win. I am actually going to promote this lad here from the academy, Rafa Roldan. He can play as a CDM, a centre mid, or a centre back. 16 years of age, potentials between 77 and 94. So I didn't realise that that was the case. So I'm going to put him in the senior team. And I'm probably going to try and change his position to a central midfielder. Because as a CDM, we don't use CDMs in our squad. So that would help. Yeah, so we'll uh, make him train to be a central midfielder. He's only rated 57, which isn't too bad for a 16-year-old. You know, big lad. Um, let's look at his uh, stats a little bit. Um, let's have a look about. Uh, acceleration 64, sprint speed 62, so it's, I suppose, all right. Jumping 68. He's not the strongest, but I think it will usually be, or what it will be, is uh, is passing is the kind of thing we'll be focusing on. I think everything that will eventually be uh, relatively well-rounded, which would be a really nice um, addition to the squad. You know, because we've got the likes of Evans, who's ageing. I'm probably going to sell him at the end of the season. Gunnarsson, I know he's only going to... He, he only would have been here for six months, but he's probably going to go because the board kind of forced our hand to sign him. So I think Roldan could be a nice little addition um, to work under the under the likes of uh, 09 and Dan Neal as well, of course. But now we are going to be quick in this game against Crew at the stage of my line. As you can see, I've given Roldan... His, uh, his debut, so we'll quick sim this game, hopefully it is a victory, we shall see, and we win by two goals to nil, Stuart gets himself a goal after coming off the bench, and Roldan, he, he actually scores on his debut, that is absolutely perfection, absolutely perfect, not absolutely perfection, that is absolute perfection, yeah it is, what am I talking about, <laughs> I'm getting too excited, and just so you guys know, we are getting regular offers for Callum Doyle, which is very annoying, but it's because he's obviously put himself on the transfer list, because he's submitted a transfer request, but I just keep rejecting them, in the hope that one day, he will just get rid of that transfer request, if that is even possible, um, it's going to get very, very annoying if, throughout the entire series, I need to keep rejecting offers, uh, but hopefully it does go away, but now it is another Quicksum game, we're going to go full strength with this one, I'm not too bothered if we don't win. I would like a draw and just no injuries. That would be the best scenario. So please, what can you do for us, lads? What can you do? And we win by three goals to one. Gooch gets two and Diaku gets the other. Scully gets one back for Lincoln. What a perfect episode this has been. Absolutely perfect. So far. So far. But now we are going to be welcoming Rotherham to the stage of light. So Stewart and Flanagan have both been called up to international duty. So Broadhead will be replacing Ross Stewart and Willis will be replacing Flanagan as well. So let's get into it. And here we go. It is first against third. It was first against third in the first game of the episode, but it just shows how quickly the table can change. They were trying to get into the top two, I'm sure, as were Charlton. But we're in a great run of form at the minute. We're absolutely flying. Can we continue it in this game? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Please don't be a sending off. It is a sending off. I did not mean to do that at all. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do it. I've accidentally pressed it. And Embo's been sent off, which is going to change the game now. And now straight away... Go on, get there first, get there first, get there first. Well in circuit. Oh, no, it's not done well. And he's hit the side net in. We've got so many bodies coming forward, though, Lincoln, if you look. Since we've had that man sent off, every time they come forward, there's so many bodies piling forward. Maybe we can arrange a counter-attack, but we need to deal with them first. How it's still nil-nil, I don't know. Go over to him, go over to him, go over to him. No foul. Oh, it's a save again from Hoffman. Oh, this is going to be a horrible game, this now, isn't it? An absolutely horrible game. Get it away, get it away. That'll do. And in the end, no damage done. Well in Broadhead. Hold up the play, hold it up, hold it up. Help him out. There we go. It's Doyle now breaking forward. And what a ball it is from Doyle to Huggins. 
It's Huggins, it's breaking forward. Still Huggins, shoot! It's in! It's 1-0! Completely against the run of play. Defender to defender. It's an absolutely inch-perfect through ball from Doyle at the back. And it's a lovely run coming off the inside, or coming off the outside, should I say, from Huggins. And it's an even better finish, rifling it past the keeper. Jesus Christ. I was actually just saying, I hope to God we managed to hold on for a draw at least. And we could get away with three points, but I'm definitely not getting ahead of myself here. 1-0 at half-time, and what a stressful game this has been. It's been 99.9% .9 defending, 0.1% counter-attacking, which we've scored. And Huggins did a brilliant, brilliant job of it. Embo has been sent off, which is an absolute nightmare, but hopefully we can hold on. We have something to defend in this second half. Get there first. Oh, well played. And again, turn him. That's brilliant football, that. Gooch onto our nine. Can he find Diaku? Yes, he can. Big touch from Diaku. Pulls it back. Full broad end. Surely. Oh, and again, can. Oh, he can't get there. That is shocking, that. Broadhead, go back to your parent club. Now here's Daniel. He lashes one. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. He's got loads of space here. Oh, thank God it's gone over the bar. Come on. There we go. Neatly done turn. Can he find Diaku? Yes, he can. Diaku, look at all the bodies have commit forward here. It's Diaku. One of the keeper. Finish. Get in. It's 2 0. It's another counter attack. It's a second goal. Get in, son. And if anyone deserves it, it's Diaku. All he does all the time is make space, make chances for other teams, for the players, should I say. He's constantly hitting the woodwork, but now he's finally rewarded with another goal to his tally. Come on. Hey, because of space here. Oh, it's a good chance. Come on, come on. Defend properly, lads. Oh, he's pulled it to the edge of the box. He struck it over the bar. Thank God these lot don't have their shooting boots on because they could have scored five or six. Oh, it's a good ball. It's a flick on. No foul. Well played. Oh, you're fouling each other here, lads. Get it across. Get it away. That's yours off. That's yours. Well in. Calm it down, boys. Calm it down. Good chance now for them. Oh, look at the space they've got here. It's just Jordan Willis. Can he get there first? Get it away. It's a save by Hoff again. Five minutes to go. This man. The amount of points this guy has saved us this season. Sorry, this season. Hoffman. I'm so glad we've got him on a permanent. So, so glad. Get it away. Oh, no. I was just about to say. It'd be great if we managed to keep a clean sheet in this game. It's a good chance for them. Getting through. Get it away. Let's get it away. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. 2-1. It looks like it's going to be just consolation. Luckily for us. But Hoffman could not do anything about that. Coyote scores for Rotherham. Let's just hold on to the ball, lads. See it out. There we go. 2-1. And I tell you what, guys. I don't know how it's going to look in the edit with the highlights, but I've just had to defend so much and for so long. Half the time, it's just me watching them pass the ball about. I'm trying to be clever with the way I'm marking players because otherwise they're going to be all over us. It's taken a lot of concentration, that one. But we've managed to break away twice, score twice, and win 2-1. Get in. And after that game, of course, Elliot Embleton has picked up a one-match ban. Let's have a look at our monthly scouting report, see if there's anyone of interest. I doubt it. 130k he's worth. Generally, that's how you know if anyone's going to be a half-decent player by looking at their value. And it doesn't look like we've got anyone who's relatively decent. I mean, he's okay, I guess, but his overall is between 44 and 60. He'd probably be rated like 50. I'll keep an eye on him for the time being, but I'll get rid of the rest. That looks pretty shocking. Now, as you can see, oh, it's getting daft now, isn't it? It really is getting daft. We're 20 points ahead at the top. I'm going to quick sim this game against Oxford, guys. I'll use our second string squad to give some players uh, some game time. There we go. As you can see, Roldan playing again. Uh, you've got Pritchard in there, Winchester, O'Brien, McGeady, Key. You know, they're all improving drastically as well. And the likes of Hume and Key, left back and right back, they're almost the same uh, rating as uh, Sirkin and Huggins respectively so it's going to be quite some competition particularly next season to see who gets the full back spot left or right back but we'll quick see in this game who's going to win can we continue yes we can it's <laughs> guys we'll just say it now we've won the league well we know we have we've absolutely won the league this is just ridiculous it really is just ridiculous but now we will be watching the final game of the episode where we are going to be taking on Shrewsbury they are currently in 21st positions so they're going to be desperate for points here so we'll give that one a watch and jump in if we need to we're going to go full strength and of course Embleton is back from his suspension Go on, have a crack. Get in! It's 1-0. It's rushed to it. We've absolutely stormed this league, haven't we? As soon as it got to February, where we just managed to take over Ipswich, we've just completely run away with it since sort of January, February. Help him out, help him out. Help him out, give it. 
And it's in, it's 2 0. And it is another one for the man, the myth, the legend, the Loch Ness Drogba. Jesus Christ. What a positive episode, by the way. Come on, come on, come on. Get it in, get it in. Get in, it's 3 0. And it's Embleton. He's returned from his ban that he got for that red card. And now is back on the score sheet 3 0. This squad is just absolute class. It really is. Of course, in the championship, we're going to have to improve it quite drastically in some areas anyway. But um, I've got a feeling that the board are going to want us to start signing a lot of youth, which kind of... Oh, God, they're going to have a chance here. But that kind of just fit in with real life anyway. Sunderland are all about youth players. But I think they're going to give us an objective like, you know, sign a player under a certain age or of a certain potential, which is what they do quite a lot. And if that is the case, we're going to be signing... A lot of youth and spreading it across the squad, which is really nice as well. I want to try and get quite a young squad like Sunderland do have in real life and just add to it and get some decent championship quality. Or at least players that have potential to be championship quality. That would be quite exciting. I'm talking about next season already. Won't we finish this one yet? Can we get a fourth against Shrewsbury in League One? Not just yet. <laughs> Diaku now, can he pull it back? He's gone for it himself and he's scored. This is utter domination, this. Utter domination. Turn, give it, surely is it five? Diaku! Oh, that was lovely football as well. This has been so nice to watch. There's no drama in this episode. For me anyway, in terms of stress, really. You know, I haven't had to jump in because we're not losing. We're not conceding goals. And we're winning left, right and centre. Go on, have a crack. And it's another one. It's a hat-trick for Ross Stewart. We're walking it, lads. We are walking it. And there goes a full-time whistle. What a way to end the episode. 5-0. Diaku, Embo, and of course a hat-trick from the Loch Ness Drogba. Just perfection, that. I've said it before in this episode, but that, that is perfection. I'm telling you. And at the end of the episode, look at that. We're going to hit triple figures. We're going to hit triple figures. We're going to run away with it. We've only lost three games so far this season. We have five games remaining. We'll go through all of that in the next episode. So we'll be ending the season in the next episode, which is uh, mad. It feels like we've only just really started this series, which I suppose technically we have. But this is how the table looks, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. That goal difference as well, that is just stupid. It really is stupid. We've had so many games where we've pulled off some big victories. Of course, you know, by the way, I'm not, I'm not stupid. I know that in the next season, or at least when we go, do go up to the Championship, the difficulty will be going up as well. Off camera, I have tried a few games in Legendary. And of course, it's uh, it's pretty hard. <laughs> it's pretty hard, you know. Uh, I've tried a handful of games and it's been a very mixed um, uh, bag of results for me. So it should be very, very interesting. But as of right now, we still have League One to get through. Ipswich in second. Chef Wednesday trying to squeeze themselves into the top two there with Rotherham in fourth. Charlton fifth. Lincoln in sixth as well. Now the bottom. Do we still have Burton there? We do. Burton have gone down. They've gone. They are going down to League Two. Fleetwood, Wimbledon and Shrewsbury in there as well but that'll be it guys if you have enjoyed please hit the like button for me it'd be massively massively appreciated subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the sony army but for now you take care